Well, the first thing that came to my mind when I heard that the Pope was coming, was going to the Philippines to visit, I said to myself, well, it's because of all Asian nation, Asian uh, nation, uh, the Philippines is the one that has a lot of, you know, who practices the Catholic faith with all their heart and with all their soul. Although, like I was saying to a friend of mine that we were born into our faith, not understanding what it is really, but uh, yes, and that's probably the reason why the Pope chose the Philippines as one of the places that he has to visit. And he knows that, and the one thing that he said before he came, before his visit is that, don't do anything to make the Philippines look beautiful or uh, to erase any of those that's there, but leave it be and whatever you money you are going to be spending, give it to the poor. And that's one of the things that I really love about the Pope is because he really is into helping the poor and making their lives a little bit more, a lot easier. And the places that he's going to see uh, in Tacloban, where there's a lot of uh, uh, devastation because of the earthquake and also the big, big typhoon that came. Uh, I think that the people there will be very, very happy to know that the Pope loves them so much that he is willing to travel that far to see them and to help them in their misery. And this visit of the Pope to the Philippines really is a big, big positive sign and hopefully the leaders of the Philippines will take into consideration the fact that the Pope is for the poor and not for the rich people and that, that him being the message that he's giving about being merciful and helpful to the poor will get into the minds of the leadership of the Philippines. If I was in the Philippines, I would love to go with the Pope to Tacloban and see what he's going to do and be with him every step of the way and, and watch him give, console the people who are who have been devastated by the typhoon.